Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today we're going to be talking about a by-election in Wakefield, which you can see here on the map, this part of the country where it is. And um, recently the... Go on to the first bit. Here, yeah. yeah. There's been a by-election due to take place as a result of the Tory MP Imran Ahmad Khan, who was convicted of sexual assault in April following a long-running legal process. Because of it, because he was the standing, the existing MP there, there's now going to be a by-election to replace him. All right, so let's go back to the start of this article uh, from the Yorkshire Post. Uh, yeah. Wakefield by-election. 14 Labour officials resign and mass over stitch-up selection process. Um, running for the local Labour Party in Wakefield have dramatically quit in protest at a stitch-up selection process for the city's parliamentary candidate. Paul Jowett, constituency secretary, confirmed for the York to the Yorkshire Post that all 14 current members of the Wakefield constituency Labour executive have decided to stand down. Their resignation will take place on Sunday. That was two days ago. Um, in the official statement on behalf of the executive, Mr Jowett said that for the past year the local Labour Party has repeatedly asked the party headquarters to select a local candidate and choose someone in advance to avoid a rush job. He said that the Labour Party has a special set of rules when it comes to by-elections, updated as recently as last year, but the national executive simply haven't kept to them. We asked for local candidates, but there are none. Three prominent council and local Labour candidates, including the deputy council leader, didn't even make it onto this list that they uh, wanted. Um, the Labour Party itself said that they had two fantastic candidates on the short list with strong connections to the local community and that the party was focused on winning the by-election mark. I mean, of course you're going to say that. The party's rule book states that the three members of a constituency Labour Party should be that, that three members of a constituency Labour Party, the people that have left, resigned, should be on the selection panel for the process of choosing a candidate. But emails seen by the Yorkshire Post show that regional party officials said for only one local um, constituency Labour Party member would be allowed onto the panel of five. Labour has shortlisted Simon Littlewood and Kate Dearden for the position with a final candidate selection due to take place this weekend. These are the two candidates there. But there has been unhappiness at how the selection process has been conducted with no locally based candidates making the long list that the Labour Party came up with. Um, among those who, who missed out were Wakefield Council's Deputy Leader Jack Hemingway. So basically, people from the area are not getting onto this list of um, this list of um, potential candidates that the Labour Party has come up with. And where in the past the majority of the this panel of five that would pick that would pick the, um, the candidate of choosing the candidate um, only one of the local members has got onto this panel. 
So they, they no longer have a majority on this. Um, on who represents them in their local constituency. Yeah, the rule book states that in the event of a by-election, snap elections or any other parliamentary selection, where there is insufficient time for a normal selection process, a five-person panel shall be formed to undertake the shortlisting, comprising of three representatives of the CLP to be appointed by the CLP executive, one representative of the REC to be appointed by the chair and vice chairs of that REC, and one NEC member. The composition of the panel shall take into account equi equalities considerations. It is understood that the selection process did go ahead with only one CLP member, which is in line with other recent by-election selections in the seats of Old Bexley and Sidcup, North Shropshire and Erdington and following procedural guidance issued by Labour's National Executive Committee in October 2021. Labour List reported that the guidance said, while the NEC recognised the frustration party members feel following two general elections at which candidates were imposed on local parties, the party had received legal advice suggesting it should implement supplementary guidance to clarify the process for selections going forward due to concerns about wording and rules. Of the two shortlisted candidates, Kate Dearden works for a trade union community, while Simon Lightwood is an NHS worker who is also a member of Labour's National Policy Forum and Yorkshire Labour's Regional Board. But um, these are not the only walkouts that have occurred, um, resignations of local parties, members. Yeah, the Wake, this is from Squawk Box. The Wakefield group is far from the first to quit the party over Starmer's democratic meddling. In March, the, executive of, the executives of New Brighton Labour resigned en masse. And a week before that, the elected officers of Berwick-upon-Tweed Labour did the same. While in February, the executives of both CLP in the London Borough of Newham quit their party membership, along with a number of rank-and-file members. In protest at both the war on democracy and the unchecked and unpunished racism and Islamophobia in the, of the Labour right. Also have figures here of how the party has changed. Its membership has decreased over time. This is from 2019. It shows a different membership of the different parties in, in the thousands. Um, this was from when Jeremy Corbyn was supposedly in charge of the party, up to four, 485,000, almost half a million. Um, members of the party, 2019. This is from Statistica. And in... While we don't have exact figures these days um, for the party this year, um, this is Anne Black tweeting earlier in January that it's about 400,000 members of the, uh, in the party, which is quite a which is the loss of 85,000 or so members. Yes, 85,000, yep. Yeah. Right, so there is a bit of a, there's been a bit of a loss these days um, in membership. Anyway, um, that's all I have for this video. Um, you can find sources and citations for all the links, for the, all the sources used in this down in the description. Um, as with all YouTube channels, feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and share with your friends or anyone who's, who you think might be interested in this. And uh, until next time, have a good evening.